how can you do the I2C communication using LabVIEW and FTDI's FT422 device? About LabVIEW, LabVIEW is a graphical programming tool with which you can write the programs with various graphical components and interconnecting them using virtual wires and it has a very good hardware integration facilities you can collect data from the hardware process those data and visualize it basically labview is a rapid application development environment with which you can quickly create some applications to do the hardware level interactions FTDI's FT422 device is a unique device from FTDI Chip Corporation and it has quad SPI communication hardware uh, which can support up to 53.8 Mbps and it has I2C which can be used up to 3.4 Mbps with some GPIOs and interrupts too. And do you know that to drive this FTDI's FT422 device from LabVIEW, there is a ready-made toolkit available from the market on LabVIEW Tools Network. The toolkit is called as AJS FTDI FT422 toolkit and it can help you to generate I2C, SPI or GPIOs from LabVIEW right inside on the LabVIEW. For this demo, I am going to do only I2C master level signal generation. I2C level, master level signal generation means the FTDI device is going to act as the I2C master and it is going to drive the signals, clocks and data which is going to be probed from the logic analyzer. And the connection details for this demo goes this way. I have a ft 4 2s EVM module and from this EVM module I am going to connect ground GPIO0 and GPIO1 to the logic analyzer which is going to act as the S clock and the SDL lines. From logic analyzer I am going to connect to the PC via a USB line and the PC in turn is going to connect to the evaluation module via another USB line. The signals from EVM from the logic analyzers are basically I2C signals which is going to be generated and from the logic analyzer to USB is going to be used to see the digital waveforms of the signals and from PC to the evaluation module I'm going to use the LabVIEW under the FT422 toolkit from AJ. Circuit actually looks like this. It's a bare board circuit where I have connected with the all jumper wires between the logic analyzer and the evaluation module. Now I have LabVIEW 2014 opened up with uh, AJ FTDI FT422 toolkit installed in it and also i have in the bottom right corner the cellular logic uh, logic analyzer uh, uh, digital waveform viewer where we can see the response from the logic analyzer in the screen so let me head ahead to the lab view and uh, open up the examples uh, here and uh, you can see the examples get listed down here you can go to the directory structure and uh, open up the aj folder then ftdi driver folder then examples and open the i2c master right example here so this i2c master right example demonstrates how to do the i2c communication using ftdi device on the LabVIEW platform. So 
this has some set of inputs and uh, some set of outputs the set of inputs are where we can configure the device index ftdi device can act in uh, multiple modes in in some set of modes so uh, there you you will see multiple usb devices virtually visible from the windows platform so now I have connected in the mode 0 for FT422 which would generate interface A and interface B. Interface A would be I2C interface and interface B would be GPIO interface. And here when I give device index 0 it would point to the I2C interface which is interface A. If I give 1 instead of 0 it would point to GPIO interface which is interface B so let me go back to 0 and uh, let me give some slave address say 7 which uh, virtually we are s simulating that we are going to connect to a, a I2C slave which has address 7 here and uh, I2C bitrate 400 kbps is good enough but here you can tune it up to 3.2 mbps uh, uh, which this device can support and uh, the master write buffer data is where the actual data goes so we can give some set of data here so that we can see in the output so let me give some well-known ascii characters like 65 66 67 which basically stands for alphabet a b and c and that's about it on the bottom right side you can see that i have this la logic and let me set it up for a trigger so i have already set it up for a racing edge of the scl line which is clock line and i have set it up for 8 mega samples per second for which will be acquired for 100 millisecond after the trigger occurs so let me st start this acquisition so that it can wait for the trigger and uh, let me go back and uh, start the VI. So 3, 2, 1 and go. So now the acquisition has done. Uh, you can see on the VI it has outputted the device serial number. So interface A is basically pre-programmed for this EVM as serial A and uh, it has sent the three bytes and that's why you see three here these three bytes 65 66 and 67 and when you go back to the cellular logic you can see that uh, we have acquired the same set of data in the bottom right corner you can see that the same 65 66 67 are represented as A now it's zooming in to A and B and C and you can also see that the device address which was written is 7 which is also transferred so voila we have transferred the I2C signals from LabVIEW using FTDI's FT422 device Thanks for watching the video and for more information please go on to digiajay.com